Hello everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to the tutorial series where I teach you how to make a Minecraft mod without coding. So last time we went over how to export your mod, and this time we are going to go over how to make custom fluids for use in your biomes. So these fluids are like water and lava, so you know they, they'll flow, and you put them in buckets, and yeah, that's what we're going to be making today. So the first thing we're going to want to do, as always, is come over to the plus and add a fluid somewhere in here. There we go, fluid. I'm going to call this uh, Molten Ardanium. Okay, so here we are in our fluid, and first thing we're going to do is we're going to get textures. Now, for fluids, what we're going to want to go with is actually an animated texture rather than a still one. So I'm going to go over to Workspace and Resources, and then we're going to do Create New Texture, Create Animated Texture. Now, we haven't really gone over animated textures before, so I'm going to be walking you through this. So if we come down to this bar down here, we're going to want to add frames from template, and we can pick our template. So, you know, there's fire, um, there's portals. So if you want to make, like, a portal later, we're going to go into dimensions, then that might be something we want to do. I'm just going to come over to water still. It's also water still dark. I'm going to just do the regular water still. And then we can also pick a color. So I'm going to do this Ardanium color, and we're going to hit add. And now if we hit this play button, you can kind of see the texture moving. So this is what our still molten Ardanium is going to look like. So we can hit save this animated texture. And block. I'm going to do molten Ardanium still texture. And 16 by 16. And there we go. Now I'm going to close this out. And I'm going to create another animated texture. Because we also need one for when it's flowing. So we're going to add frames from template. And come down to water flow. I'm going to pick the same color. And hit add. You gotta make sure that we pick the same color or else it will look weird. And now if we play it, that's what the flowing one looks like. So I'm going to save this animated texture. Block. Molten. Ardanium. Flowing. Texture. 16 by 16. And we can close this out. So we're going to come back to our Molten Ardanium now. And we're going to click on the still texture. And we're going to hover over this so we can actually see. This is the still texture right here. So if you hover over it for long enough, it'll tell you what it's called. So we're going to pick the still texture, and then we're going to pick the flowing texture. So there we go. We have our two textures. And now we are going to add some properties to our fluid. So for fluid type, there's water or lava. I'm going to pick a lava because it's hot, and this is also going to be hot. You know, it's molten artanium. Now for flow rate, this is how fast the fluid will actually flow. 5 is the default for water. 30 is the default for lava. And 10 is the default for lava in the nether. So I'm going to do 30. So it has a similar flow speed to lava. So this is basically when it spreads to another block, right? Now for flow strength, this is how much it's actually going to push you away. Like when you stand in it, when it's flowing. So lava is much less than water. You know, lava, you're more burned dead. <laughs> and negative ones will like pull you towards the source block, which is kind of weird because it's supposed to be pushing the other way. Anyway, I'm going to do... I'm just going to keep this at 1. Now, level decrease is like how fast it slopes downward, sort of. So, water's 1, lava's 2. Um, I don't know if that explanation made any sense. But you can always hit these little question marks as well to get M Creator's explanation on it. So, that's a useful little tip. Now, the slope find distance, this one is kind of weird. But, like, if you have water, if you have a slope, and you put water far away from the slope, it will kind of move further away to try to go down the slope. It's kind of weird, but I'm just going to leave this like this. It's kind of advanced. And then can sources multiply? We're going to keep this on no, but this is like, is it possible to have an infinite source? So you know how you can make infinite water sources? And with lava, you can't do that. If you check this, then you can make an infinite source of your block. And if you don't check this, then you can't. I'm going to keep this unchecked because it's going to be fairly valuable. And then drip particles. This is like, you know, if you put water on top of a block, then underneath the block, you see the drips. If we check this, then we can pick a particle, and there's a bunch of different particles that we can pick from, and these are all the different particles in the game. And this is going to be what drips down. I'm just going to keep this off. And now the tint type, this is if you put this fluid in a certain biome, it actually gets, like, tinted. You know, like, if you have water, depending on the type of ocean, like the warm ocean versus, like, cold ocean, they have different water colors. So again, this is kind of advanced. I'm just going to keep this off. And now for the fluid bucket, we can either enable or disable automatically generating a fluid bucket. So if you keep this off, 
there won't actually be a float bucket, and you'll have to make one yourself. So I'm going to turn this on, so we automatically get a bucket of it. So I'm going to call this a Molten Ardanium Bucket. And you can give it a texture if you want, but I'm going to leave it empty. Like it says, it will automatically generate it by taking a bucket and kind of putting your fluid in the bucket. Now for the Creative Inventory tab, I'm just going to keep it on Miscellaneous. And for the empty sound, we're going to keep this, again, as the default. It automatically has a sound for whenever you're kind of emptying it. Now for Rarity, this is... We've gone through this with blocks before, but this basically just changes the color of the actual item name. And then special information, this shows up underneath the bucket. So we're going to just keep that off as well. Now under advanced properties, there's not really too much that we're going to have here. Um, one thing of note is, is this fluid gas? If you check that, it'll flow upwards, which is quite interesting. But again, I'm just going to keep this kind of like it is. If you want, you can make it light up like lava does. So you can just turn that up. But again, I'm just going to keep it like it is. Now for triggers, we have plenty of triggers that we can use with procedures as well. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. And then for generation, we're going to turn this off because I don't want to make lakes of molten artanium. But you could do that if you want. And we can also add it to surface. And if you want, you could add it to your biome. So then you would get lakes of that fluid in your biome. But I'm going to keep that off because I don't want that. So I'm going to hit save mod element. And now we're pretty much done. You can fire up the game and you'll see your fluid. Okay, so here we are back in our world where we made this Ardanium airship. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to test out the fluid. So if we come into here, there we go, Molten Ardanium Bucket. And you see it did automatically generate our bucket and it looks pretty good. So if I kind of make something like this and we plop it in there, there you go. You see it's flowing and it's burning you when you stand in it, which it should because it's... A molten liquid and yeah this is our this is our fluid so yep it hurts too <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this episode of m creator i hope it helped you out and now you should have a fully working fluid in your mod now keep in mind there is no way to obtain this fluid as of right now you could add a recipe for the bucket you could add um of course world generation in specific biomes or something like that but right now, it is a creative-only item in my mod. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.